this is the video about the Haida culture. The Haida was a people uh, is living today is Canada and they live in a part called British Columbia and there was a culture close to the sea and they have they build there was famous for building uh, houses in redwood and they make a big sculpture in redwood and the totem pole and the totem pole was an important uh, society rank in the Haida culture for every different uh, different clan in the Haida have different animals as the symbol for the t their clan and as the, in the totem like the old grizzly and the orca and they use uh, they combine animal f uh, human future uh, features in the animals uh, faces and in as the sculpture so you can maybe a uh, kill whale will have something similar to the human and so on and they traded uh, like in uh, in the seventh 18th century, the trading, uh, trading with the Russians, and the Russian and so on, and their story was they are believe that the Haida was born from the uh, a big uh, shell, a big shell from the sea. And many people were, when the shell was open, people was born from the shell in the, their culture, and other very important uh, animal in the culture was the grizzly and the raven. Raven was famous for taking a bit uh, from the guard from the sun and giving to the human, like Prometheus. In the Greek mythology, the raven was similar to Prometheus. He gave the sun to the world, so people get the sun, and so on. Yeah, and they the culture was uh, built on a hierarchy, like you have a uh, shaman, Kings, uh, traders, hunters, and slaves. And uh, slaves were the lowest, of course, in the hierarchy. So the, the, when the king died, he sacrificed his slaves to follow him to the uh, his life, next life, and so on. Uh, and that I here is a picture with a shaman shape with a kill whales. Uh, Fame, fame, and it's previous. Uh, yeah, here, uh, yeah. This, uh, they, they use uh, copper, redwood, and black stone. And black stone. I think this. I think this is called black stone. And also use glass. I said some of the totem pole have glass eyes, uh, or some special, very rare things they have to see. It's a glass eyes, and some of the totem poles are. Uh, front of the door and some are like in shape into the door so some are like you have a face like a grizzly and the grizzly's uh, palms is like a door and you can open it and that is very special for them for the, the houses was in wood they have wooden houses uh, long houses bit like viking houses uh, for the chief a big house then you can I think one of the big houses you can have 5,000 or five 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 thousand people in one house. There was the biggest house, and they also built very beautiful canoes with uh, animals on. Uh, it was big, I think, uh, and they have ceremonies, hunting, warfare on the canoes. Uh, they are sea culture. They they hunt whales, and they, when they hunt a the whale, they use harpoons. And they have many ships, and they one of one of guys jump in the sea, and when the whale was uh, dead, he sew up the mouth of the whale with uh, with uh, bone and rope, and if the yeah if the whale get too many and the, and the whale get full of water, they flew up and finish yeah uh, and so on. There, uh, so they hunt whale for the whale was very good for the nourishment uh, with the with the fat this, uh, the the and the meat was very important with whale for make them it was not in their part there was not so much vegetables growing there so they have to eat whale because to survive whale have many neutral things in that it's very important for the culture to eat to live yeah. And they eat fish eggs and so on, many things from the sea, seal, whales, fish, and the salmon. Salmon was also very important um, animals in in their culture, as uh, salmon. And here is a picture from a 
a festival in the potlatch festival and they are also an extremely important they can make wooden machines the Haida make very cool very special wooden machine they can make a an instrument shaped as a totem pole like an owl and the owl will play they they turn the owl on and the owl can remove his wing and talk yeah and every the higher rank you are in the Haida culture the more things you have on the totem so there may be if you have so the, the one like if one clan maybe the killer whale clan the killer whale clan will what is the only clan so was allowed to use killer whale as the symbol and the other clan was only allowed to use a grizzly and so on the most powerful animals the, for the most powerful kings of course um and here yeah this is a picture with the kings with the ceremony close and that is very rare to see for the in normal normal fight <laughs> like, like one thing is very very important is their their mask was a special thing for them there was a special thing of power and importantness the, their mask was not uh, anything for us we see the mask as a beauty for them is a spiritual thing for them it's very important to know they were not any wall hanger the mask was only sh showing in very very rare festivals very very rare festivals only the only special people was allowed to dance with that dance and use that mask so that is very important to know and you have to see when you see the culture you have to see if you understand their culture was special the mask was special it's not for us we cannot see that we we only think that is beautiful but we don't understand their meaning behind the mask that is the, the mask was the meaning like generation to generation of the mask like one mask can mean maybe uh, he win uh, this battle that man mask can mean he or that person that that animal means that thing and like one thing is very special uh, if a king marries to another kingdom uh, oh, sorry princess or princess prince he will they will learn a special dance was only uh, uh, only learn, known but that uh, example if a kill whale uh, princess marry a grizzly grizzly bear prince she will learn she will learn the grizzly bear the killer whale dance and that is only if you are married to that clan you can learn that dance and only that person allowed from if you're born from that family to teach the other one if you're married that is extremely important for them uh, so oh, everything they have was a special meaning in their culture and their society and that have was yeah I don't know I don't know and how much I, I can only see this so complicated and so I have to learn so many things it's so extremely complicated things about uh, the culture is extremely complicated and uh, yeah I, this this video is very short and I will in the future I will absolutely do more about dedicated more to the 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 north north coast north coast culture in Canada and more I mean, many many different culture many different art and society there in Canada and that is the, one of them is the, the Haida I talk about now and yeah the important to know last thing they are extremely important all the symbol they use for the animals is important for that special clan like Haida is a many many different clans raven the owls the eagles the grizzly clan and all the animals are means different things for them and that is important to know and show that respect and understand the culture is different for them and the mask means means many different things for them and so on uh, yeah and here's a picture with a frog on the head a redwood hat <laughs> and so on uh, I, I don't know who they belong to but they think there's a sheaf or some in the frog or so on 
and they mix animal with animals so sometimes a, gr a grizzly will have an owl uh, eyes so sometimes a wolf will have a killer whale uh, um, fame, fame I think they call here is a very beautiful uh, or orca uh, hat uh, for the hat like the pi um, this is like a crown like the the, the um, um, uh, orca clan they use uh, like a orca um, uh, and put it on the hat and that only that clan was allowed to use that it was a very beautiful and so on and here is a is a wooden sculpture of a killer whale it's the same as orca um yeah it's a beautiful it's a beautiful art and it's a very very interesting culture and i will absolutely do more videos about them and much more dedicated video that is just the beginning i, I hope you like this video and in the future we'll come more video like that